Yo. Brenneman with five receivers will take off with space. Grant Brenneman darts for a first down, diving across the 35 for a gain of 12. Last time this was a keeper. No chance for Brenneman here. He is sacked by Caleb Butler. Got it just in time. And in a running play, it is Holland who gets quite a bit of those yards back. Run of 14 to at least cut out some field position for the punt. Yeah, 4.9 per game. And up here it is Anderson along the edge. And Bruce Anderson cuts back inside for extra yards after contact. Thrown out of bounds right near his head coach, Chris Kleiman, a run of 33. Or a touchdown of the first possession last week against James Madison. Here, stick on a wheel route, hits Lance Dunn, who slips. And is down to the 26. Another 30-plus yard play, this one for 32. On the give, this is Ty Brooks, their third back. He's the home run hitter, and he might just hit it. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Brennan sets up the screen. Incomplete. Wouldn't have picked up anything anyway. Nick Diaco with Grimsley bull rushing him to set up a punt. Stick to throw it on second down and complete it. That is Darius Shepard, his top target. And a first down close to midfield, a gain of 13. Downs. Stick pressured off the edge. He got walloped as he delivered that one short. Darius Shepard was the intended target. Brenneman pressured immediately, got it to Holland, he is stuck! Cole Karch blew it up for a loss of three. Picked off Ben DiNucci five times. Looking for a big play, third and five, and stick through it behind Shepard. Fourth and five, a decision time for North Dakota State. Big games matter. Brenneman on the run. And he found a wide open Owen Rocket, Colgate's leading receiver, and that's the way the Raiders will launch themselves into the second quarter. A run play on third and ten. Derek Tuske in there for the stop on Holland after a gain of six. Stick pressured. Pitt got out of it. He'll try to run for it and get run down from behind by Dylan DeUlius. Another third down stop for Colgate. On his way. Play clock at one. Brenneman to throw it. And it is incomplete. He had Nick Diaco all alone. And North Dakota State starts at the 35 with a play action. Stick. First down, Anderson. Again, that wheel route to the running back, and it's into Colgate territory for a gain of. 24. What a one. Held the Bison 0 for 3 on third down today. Stick pressure picked up well. Delivers a clean ball for a first down. It's the true freshman Phoenix Sproles with just his third catch of the year. Comes with around six to go in the second quarter. Stick, here comes Wheeler, the Colgate sack leader. He gets him to the ground. Nick Wheeler with his Career sack number 23 and a half. And second and 21. This is Freeman. Made a couple of defenders miss. Cuts it upfield across the 20. Third down and short coming after the big hitter to Freeman. It's a third down run for a first down. And an ankle tackle. The only thing to stop Bruce Anderson from getting in. Wisniewski hung on for dear life. It's been the lead blocker. Stick keeps it wide open for the touchdown is his tight end, Ben Ellison. <laughs> Brenneman will do just that and complete it. Caught by Trey Kane who breaks a tackle and it's back-to-back -back first downs for Colgate which edges two in the whole game. So you want to just find something underneath. Brenneman slipped. And he is 
is thrown down. Derek Tuska got him. And there's the timeout with 16 seconds to go. You have to really control all three of those categories, and they have not yet. Stick seven completions to seven receivers, and this is a first catch for Christian Watson. Make it eight for eight. Shutouts to tie a record. Stick on third down all day to throw, and a wide open Freeman. Dallas Freeman with his second catch across the 30, down to the 26. Ring up 23 yards for the Bison. That is the record. Too shy of the FCS record for wins by a quarterback. And he just threw a touchdown to Darius Shepard. Seventh touchdown catch for Shepard this year. And the Bison marched down the field in the opening drive of the second half. One of at least four nickels. Colgate 0 for third down today, and it stays that way with another run inside to Holland. So the fullback Robbins is a tight end right here. Malstrom with a lead block for Anderson. Goodbye, Mr. Anderson. Touchdown, Bruce. <laughs> Running play. This is Holland. There goes James Holland, his best run today. And he's out to the 46-yard line. Play today. He the North Dakota State 43. Brenneman will run for it and pick it up. A late slide, but enough for a first down for Brenneman. On third and 16, he gets officially 17. And what's offense? Play fake here and the completion to Thomas Ives, who gets a block. And Ives is out of bounds. Spotted at the 22-yard line. A look of pain in the redshirt senior's face. Brenneman sandwiched and sacked. Greg Menard, one of the all-time sack leaders here in Fargo. Fourth and 17. Brenneman up for grabs and intercepted. James Hendricks. This time, he got it cleanly. Well, you got a guy like James Hendricks, who is just being your center fielder and goes up and gets the football. That's a great play by him and a big time stand for this North Dakota State defense. Stick will keep it. And there goes the streak. Well, he had that if he cuts left there, DJ. Yeah, 100%. Third down, nearly intercepted again by Hendricks. Number six, almost had six, had he hung on to that ball. For medical reasons. Unlike here in Fargo, they have 20 redshirt seniors on the team. Stick, Anderson. How often have we seen that play today? No, until after the year. Pressure right away, and Stick just buries it in the ground. Nick Iannilli was untouched. Going with the screen. Take your program to the next level. Brenneman, screen play, third down. And another great open field tackle by Jabril Cox. 22 and 1 in the postseason here since 2010. Look at Brooks running right behind one of his linemen. That was Tanner Volson, the center, pulling all the way to the sideline. And Brooks with a little push in the back to say, let's go. At least in the crowd is expecting for this team to be in Frisco. And they'll probably all join him. Touchdown thrown to Phoenix Sproles. And the true freshman has his first career touchdown coming in the FCS playoffs. Brenneman to throw. A lot of contact there. And it is deemed to be contact on both sides with Piscalia. Guarded tightly by Trey Fort. Colgate turns it over on downs. Next weekend, Friday night or Saturday. A run to Cofield should clean it up. Colgate shut out five teams this year. The Raiders themselves were not shut out until now. They run into the giant that is North Dakota State football. Easton Stick. Three touchdown passes, just five incomplete passes. It is a 35-0 win for Chris Kleiman's crew.
Sounds. 